Welcome to Online Advantage. I'm Professor Gonzalez. Today we're going to go over periodic inventory and the period end adjusting entries for it. So recall that with periodic inventory, we do not adjust the inventory account during the period, so it gets adjusted at the end. So we're going to look at a general ledger using T accounts here, and we have an inventory account with our $2,000 balance. That would be the beginning balance because it hasn't been adjusted. And during the year when we're purchasing inventory, we are putting it to a purchases account. Our freight goes to a freight account because it's part of the, this is freight in, the part of the uh, purchases, the inventory coming in, part of the cost. And then we have purchase discounts and purchase returns. We use accounts specifically for those as well. So when we sell inventory, we do not hit the inventory account like we would with the perpetual method. Instead, we just hit sales and cash or accounts receivable, and we do not reduce our inventory account. So it has to be done at the end of the period. We reduce inventory and we record cost of goods sold. We're gonna look at the formula for inventory. So the formula is beginning inventory, we add net purchases, and that equals our goods available for sale. And then from there, we subtract ending inventory, which would have been figured out by going out and looking at the inventory and calculating the cost of the ending inventory that's still available at the end of the period. And that will give us cost of goods sold. From our general ledger, we have our beginning inventory of 2000. Our net purchases is going to be the 1000 purchases plus the $50 of freight in, less the 20 for the discounts and less the 200 for returns. And that equals $830. Adding those two together gives us net purchases of $2,830. Then again, we, we would get the ending inventory from the count and we're gonna say our ending inventory is 1,900. Subtracting that gives us cost of goods sold of $930. Now we're going to do the journal entry to close it out. Now the purchases, the freight in, the purchase discounts and the purchase returns are temporary accounts. They're going to close out to zero. The inventory account is going to be adjusted so that we end up with the $1,900 in that account at the end. Our cost of goods sold will be updated for 930. So doing that journal entry, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the beginning inventory. And so we're going to do that by crediting that account. So I'm going to credit beginning inventory, or just inventory. I'm going to put just a parenthesis beginning, so you remember that's the beginning inventory that I re am removing, for the $2,000. Then I'm going to update inventory after that for the $1,900. So just looking over here, what happened by reducing it, I've now zeroed that account out. Now I'm going to add $1,900 back to lift it back up to 1900. So now it's zero, I'm adding 1900, which is the ending inventory I really want it to be. So I'm going to debit inventory for that amount. And in parentheses, I'm gonna put ending so you know why I'm doing that. Even though it truly is the same account. Now I'm going to zero out all of these accounts. So starting with the freight, I'm going to credit it to zero it out. purchases. It's also being credited. The purchase discounts will be debited and so will the purchase returns. Those are contra accounts. So purchase discount for 20 and purchase return, I'm going to abbreviate it, for 200. Now I'm going to record the cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold, I know, is 930 from the calculation, but you can also plug it. So uh, debits have to equal credits, we all know that, right? So if I total up this side, I will find that this side is off by $930, because I have to record my cost of goods sold. So I'm gonna squeeze it in here, because it is a debit, to get my debits first, of $930. Now if I add this side, add this side, I'm in balance, debits equal credits. That is the period end adjusting entry using the periodic method. Thank you very much. I hope you found this video helpful.